Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So if we have 8 to the power of 8 minus 4 to the power of 10, we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. Uh, but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. Uh, it means that we will show all of the working on this paper. So here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first you see that this is our 8 and this is the base is 4 and uh, we write our 8 as 2 cubed and we write our 4 as 2 square. So we need to replace these two values to the above expression. So after replacing these two values our above expression is written as uh, we write 8 equals to 2 cubed and its whole power 8 minus we replace this 4 equals to 2 square and its whole power is 10. Uh, and now in the next step uh, here we apply the exponent law you know about this life we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. According to this exponent law uh, we will multiply these two exponents and these two exponents as well. So you get here this is 3 times of 8 becomes 24 minus this is 2 times of 10 becomes here 20. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and we break uh, this exponent. We break the exponent of this term and it will be written as this is 24 we write it as 20 plus 4 minus this is 2 to the power of 20 and now here we can apply uh, the exponent law you know that if you have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n according to this rule we break these exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 minus this is 2 to the power of 20 and now here we need to take common 2 to the power of 20 and we get the remaining values are 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 and now we uh, uh, we know about uh, 2 to the power of 4 we know that 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 uh, so that we replace this 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 and it will be written as 2 to the power of 20 into 16 minus 1 uh, and here you see that 2 to the power of 20 16 minus 1 becomes here 15. So further in the next step we focus on this 2 to the power of 20 and we will write this 2 to the power of 20 as 2 to the power of 10 and its whole square multiplied by 15 so because here calculator is not allowed in this problem so we do all of the calculations in our mind or in this paper so that here uh, the 2 to the power of 10 uh, it means that uh, we will just write here 2 to the power of 5 and its whole square and its whole square and it is multiplied by 15 so here we easily find the value of 2 to the power of 5 we know that 2 to the power of 5 means that we multiply 2 with 5 times so you get 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 times of 2 becomes here 32 so uh, 2 to the power of 5 square means that we multiply uh, 32 with 32 so 32 times multiplied by 32 equals to 1024. So now we replace this 2 to the power of 5 whole square equals to 1024. So that our the above expression is written as 1024 whole square and it is multiplied by 15. So here you very well know about the meaning of 1024 square we will multiply 1024 with 1024 and at the last we multiply it with 15 and now here we break uh, 1024 as so we first write 1024 and now we break this value it will be written as 1000 plus uh, this is 20 and plus 4 and I at the last we multiply it with 15. So now we can uh, multiply this value with this and this term. 
Uh, so here you see that when you multiply this term with this it will be written as 1024 and we can just write three zeros here when you multiply this term by here it will be written as 1024 multiplied by 20 and when you multiply this term with this we write it as 1024 multiplied by 4 and this complete value is multiplied by 15 and now in the next step we first write uh, this term as it is here this is one zero two four and triple zero plus here we multiply this complete number with these numbers so when you multiply this zero with this complete number we will get zero these two fours are eight two twos are four two zeros are zero and two ones are two so we get here this value similarly we multiply four with this value this is four times of four becomes 16 we write six and carry one 4 2s are 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 zeros are 0 and 4 1s are 4 and we multiply this value with 15. And now here in the next step we need to first sum up all of these values so that here we add. So we add 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and 0 plus this 6 equals to 6. This 0 plus 8 equals to 8 and 8 plus 9 equals to 17. We write 7 and carry 1. This 0 plus 4 is 4 and 4 plus 0 is 4 and 4 plus 1 equals to 5. This 4 plus 0 becomes 4 and 4 plus 4 equals to 8. This 2 plus 2 is 4 and here we write 4. This 0 is written as 0 and this 1 is we will write here 1 only and it is multiplied with 15. So now here uh, in the next step we need to multiply these two values without using the calculator. You see here this is the biggest uh, multiplication and you see here I can do this multiplication uh, in a very smart way without uh, any calculation. So first we write this value here it is 1048576 we break this 15 as 10 plus 5 okay so when you multiply this complete number with 10 we will get here 1048576 and 0 when we multiply this complete number with 5 it will be written as first we multiply 5 with 6 5 6 are 30 we write here 0 and carry 3 uh, 7 5 is a 35 35 plus 3 38 we write 8 and carry 3 5 5 is a 25 25 plus 3 28 we write 8 and carry 2 uh, 8 5 is a 40 40 plus 2 is 42 we write 2 and carry 4 4 5 is a 20 20 plus 4 becomes 24 we write 4 and carry 2 0 5 is a 0 0 plus 2 is 2 and 5 1 is a 5 so here at the multiplication we get these numbers and at the last we need to add these values so you first add 0 plus 0 becomes 0 6 plus 8 is 14 we write 4 and carry 1 7 plus 8 is 15 15 plus 1 is 16 we write 6 and carry 1 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 we write 2 and carry 1 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 0 plus 5 is 5 and this is our 1. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.